This clip compares airflow in the vicinity of a forced air warming blanket and a conductive warming blanket under laminar flow. The overhead operating lights are positioned to illuminate the torso. Their position is out of the video frame but is indicated by the arrows. They were not adjusted when the forced air warming blanket and the conductive warming blanket were interchanged. Illumination of the neutral density helium bubbles is provided by spotlighting from the indicated direction, positioned away from the laminar flow zone as seen in an earlier related experimental setup. The forced air warming blanket is initially switched off. Under laminar flow, there is minimal airflow disruption over the blanket. Set to the maximum temperature setting, the blanket is now switched on and can be seen to inflate. In the first seconds after switch on, a very small amount of turbulent air can be seen to rise. As cold air in the system is flushed through, hot air fills the blanket and exhausts around the patient. As the system continues to warm, an increase in turbulent airflow is apparent, rising against the downward laminar flow from above. After the forced air warming blanket has been switched on for five minutes and the system allowed to equilibrate, the effect of warm rising air appears to be more significant. Here the conductive warming blanket has been switched on for over five minutes and allowed to warm up fully. Interference with laminar flow and turbulent rising air currents are significantly reduced compared with the forced air warming setup.